The last time I was here, we talked about the different types of work done. We talked about salaried employment. We said it's salary at the end of the month. We talked about self-employment. We said that is a business which we're able to generate income. We also talked about casual employment. We said this is a, a job that you get the wages at the end of the day, and it's temporary. So it's temporary work for you to get uh, paid at the end of the day. So from there, we are going to distinct distinction between various types of works. How to distinguish these types, different types of works. So how do we differentiate these uh, various types of works? We uh, differentiate them by putting them in five categories. Number one, we have professions. Professions. These are jobs that require advanced education. Or rather, you can just say these jobs require advanced education and training. So they require advanced education. Here, when we, talk, we talked about professions, we are talking about law, engineering, teaching, medicine, banking. Those are professions. Then we have trades. Trades. This is skilled labor. You have to, to use skills in order to be able to, to do this type of job. Here we are talking about uh, skill labor is about handicrafts. For example, carpentry, dressmaking, printing, metalwork. Then we have crafts. In basic terms, crafts, these are skills that use hands. It requires you to use your hands. These jobs uh, require skills that use your hands. For example, we have weaving, hairdressing, pottery, knitting. All these require the use of hands. They are called crafts. Then we have careers. When you're told, choose your career, what do we mean? Career is an occupation a person chooses to do for the rest of their life. That is a career. Then we have guilds. Guilds, G-U-I-L-D-S, guilds, these are group of people coming to, together to form a society. These are called guilds. From there, we move to meaning of vocation. What is vocation? You're told teaching is a vocation. Vocation is a call by God. It is whereby you are called by God to do a particular job. Or in the Bible you find that you are called by God to do a particular task. <coughs> and in the Bible, vocations means divine calling. A divine calling, that means you are called by God. And because it's a divine calling, you are supposed to respond to God with <coughs> faith and what? obedience so everyone who's called the bible they responded to god's call and those who did not respond they were forced to respond to those god's calls traditional african attitude towards work
So in the traditional society, number one, work is highly valued. So that's why it was taught early in life because it's it's valued, highly valued. And in the traditional African society, everybody is a worker. Or everyone, everybody works. That's why uh, you'll find out that uh, work is divided by age, gender, and social status. Because everyone has to work. Only those uh, very young children and the sick and the very old who are exempted from doing what? From working. Another attitude towards work in the traditional African society is uh, work is the most important aspect of life. And we are saying it is the most important aspect of life because it provides individuals a livelihood. It is a livelihood of individuals. What do we mean? We mean that they, they live, they work in order to live, right? Make sure every time you keep on... I will still, I will still insist on... Somewhere I saw someone written that... You make sure always you're doing something. If you're not moving or doing something, that means you're, you're stressed, right? Or you are thinking about the past that can not benefit you or the future that cannot benefit you. You're supposed to concentrate on what is in front of you. You do something. You don't just go there in the field and start watching those people who are playing. You cannot do that. You're supposed to go to the field and do what? Play. So we are talking about uh, traditional African attitude towards work. And we are saying uh, it's the most, uh, most important aspect of life. People uh, control their work. They have they 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 had control over their work, <coughs> or you can say they had great freedom of their work. So they decided on when to work and when not to work. They have a lot of freedom. So in the traditional African society, you could you could be able to decide when to work, when not to work. So there is a lot of freedom, great freedom in working. Also, work is also regarded as a leisure. Because people sang as they worked. So it's regarded as a leisure. Also work was a communal activity. Communal activity because all the family members performed the same work. If it's harvesting, the whole family or the whole community is in harvesting what? Season. So it's a communal activity. Also, it promoted solidarity. Work pro promoted solidarity. What is solidarity? It is a bond of what? Of unity. It's a bond of unity. Laziness was condemned. That means that uh, hard work was what? Emphasized. That's why we are saying that laziness was condemned. That's why people who were lazy were what? They were sung for songs to ridicule them. <coughs> Work was also determined by the community. So there are communities of the pastoralists, agriculturalists, hunters, fishermen, and food gatherers. So work was determined by the community. For example, if you are down the coast, that means what? They are fishermen, right? So, depending on the community, that is the work that you, where the, the community actually is based. Work involved offering to God. It involved prayer and offerings to God. So, you remember you offered prayers to God. You offered offerings to God and also the ancestors. <coughs> 